What is up? I'm one. Wait, is this thing working? Is this thing on? <laughs> What's up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a huge mail day video. We have, we are expanding our PSA collection by quite a bit. This is, should be 41 PSA cards that we picked up from the PWCC last rotation of their auctions from Pokemon stuff. But we are also starting a, another Rebel Clash ETV giveaway today. Uh, congrats to Mild Sauce for winning the first one, and we're gonna pick another winner this Friday. Details on how to enter coming. But uh, yeah, let's get cracking into this giant thing of wrapped PSA cards. Again, we picked up 41, and in case you're not familiar with PWCC, so it's kind of like a third-party auction, uh, kind of like eBay seller, and you basically submit your cards and then they sell them on your behalf. I don't know really know much about the process for having your cards sold, I've just been a buyer. But they kind of have one, it seems like every month. And this past month, there were so many cards for sale. And considering that the prices have been insanely high, we did a Pokemart last week where we looked into some examples where cards that I actually picked up and their insane increase in value over the past couple of years. And given, given all of that and the fact that there's so many, you know, I kind of just looked at all the, the listings. It took me multiple days. I would basically do it for, I don't know, like an hour. And it took me like almost better part of a week to finish all the, the items that they had for sale to go through and put, all right, well, this is the amount I'm comfortable paying for this card. And almost all of them, you know, I didn't win. Again, there were so maybe like 20 pages of listings, but we did pick up 40 and none of them we paid a crazy amount. I kind of just in a way lowballed for various cards so these are cards from there are some vintage stuff from I think base set 2 might be the oldest one in jungle uh, all the way to more recent stuff so we're gonna go through it and some of these were picked up for you know they're super modern cards like oh well why would you want that graded and to be honest like the amount it costs to grade the card actually exceeds the amount that I paid for it uh, although they PW or PSA is open again and they are they do have like a special bulk thing so we will be sending an order once we can and we'll just start on this side let's let's go this first one and I think this is one of the more vintage ones and we have a Cleefable from jungle this is only a PSA 7 and one thing with oh well, what are you gonna do with the PSA 7 I actually don't mind lower grades yeah the value obviously won't go up super fast and it doesn't start very high but they're easy to obtain and like expensive cards you know you kind of have to store them safely and stuff like that but lesser ones yes it's a slab card it's jungle it's vintage it's fun to look at um and you can keep it out so there we go with a clee fable seven Let's see kind of, kind of intense glare but that's okay and then we have or right, we do have base set two psa seven base set two guys if you want what is a good entry point into vintage cards i'm not sure if base set two will ever have its day in the oh it's of the price spike base set two is so cheap even you can pick them up raw uh, i think you can even buy packs are not that expensive so base set two considering how old it is shockingly low priced it's kind of like the forgotten middle child of the vintage pokemon sets uh it's kind of like was it uh base jungle maybe fossil combined for some reason and then we have, okay, this is a pretty cool Black Star promo from 2002. Only a PSA 9, but I put a bid on this pretty low just because I think that art is hilarious for that Machamp. And this one I kind of see, like, you know, there's not too many 10s here, nothing too crazy expensive, uh, but the price that we paid kind of reflects that. And we're branching into like a lot of sets that we're just picking off low hanging fruit starting to pick up cards for these various sets and here we're going to 2003 ex dragon i don't think i have any graded cards of ex dragon so now we're just getting our foot in the door as far as finishing up some uh random sets that we just you know have huge gaps in sky ridge this is one that i'm pretty happy that we picked up uh we are working on you know sky ridge aquapolis ex uh expedition PSA and now we have another one mint nine crowbat this one is the reverse foil all right what we got next another sky ridge PSA 9 dugong and it still has like um, 
Not sure if this is like a rare or normally a foil, but we do have, you know, just continue to fill out that PSA 9 reverse collection. Right, I'm not sure we have enough space for a second row, but all right, let's see. EX Unseen. So once again, 2005, not super old, but it is a mint nine and it is, we're gonna wanna hit every set eventually. So kind of just filling in a lot of random sets. Another Unseen Forces Unknown with some kind of shuffle ability. EX Crystal Guardians. Yeah, so many, so many sets to eventually hit 2006 PSA 9. All right, let's see. Doug Trio. This one I am pretty happy we picked up. Don't know too much about the card. Don't sure if it's, you know, very expensive, but I do like that art. It's a very unique art for Doug Trio. We're going to need to save on some space. All right, let's see. Cordilli from Power Keepers. PSA 9. And then we got, you know, the energies were pretty cool during this, during this era. Um... Yeah, sure, we'll probably pick up a set at some point. Artillery from Unleashed, 2010. So now we're getting really pretty recent. Gardevoir, 2015. I bet this is one of the cards that we picked up that's like, you know, if you just happen to have a Mega Gardevoir EX just that you thought was pretty good condition, ultimately this one's a PSA 8, but the, I think the amount that we picked up for it was less than it takes to typically grade a card, even at bulk rates. Uh, Swello. Uh, base 2, back to 2000. Wigglytuff, PSA 8. I think 8 is about the threshold where, uh, like, if we completed a set, I wouldn't mind leaving this, like, set of PSA 8 out, even for things like base set, rocket, or whatever. Especially if it's unlimited. And then Blackstar Promo Trico from 2003, PSA 8. And now we're gonna start overlapping. This is one we already had, but hey, we're okay with a double, especially if it's a PSA 9 or better, Magneton from Sky Ridge. Pillow Swine, Sky Ridge again. Magnezone. Another Magnezone, this one's from 2014, XY. Flashfire, actually. Flashfire, I don't mind. You know, when it comes to one way to look at it is, all right, if you were to try to pull this card, how much would it cost? And Flashfire, I've actually never opened Flashfire. So as far as how easy it is to open, never opened it before. Here we have a jungle, PSA 7. Erica's Vileplume. I actually picked up one of these uh, not too long ago. So another of Erica's Vileplume on limited eight. Team Rocket Sneak Attack. Magnezone from Skyrim. This is one that we didn't have already. Or Magneton, sorry. Picked up multiple Magnetons. Rapidash from EX Fire Red Fire Red Leaf Green. This is probably our first PSA card from this set. Then a victory bell. And ooh, I do like this one. Team Magma's Rhydon from 2004. All right, I think that's a good point. Let's talk about the giveaway real quick. So, as always, if you do want to enter to win this Rebel Clash ETB, uh, again, we'll announce the winner Friday. They will put out a video sometime on Friday, this Friday. Uh, so make sure you enter by Thursday. If you're watching this post <laughs> end of this week, uh, it might have already passed, probably already passed. But uh, yeah, make sure you like the video. Uh, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below. We'll go with, once again, hashtag TurtleFam in your comment and you will be entered good luck to everyone and we'll pick the winner come friday we got some more ex team rockets returns 8.5s are weird uh it doesn't obviously it doesn't fit in an eight doesn't fit in a nine set and 8.5 is pretty rare but not in a way that you want to collect them so 8.5s yeah they're always kind of awkward to pull or to get for 8.5 grade Ooh, i do like this art that's a pretty cool one for deoxys Mint 9 from EX Emerald. And uh, one thing, you know, I'm pretty happy with all the cards we picked up because during these PWCC auctions, you know, everyone's like, all right, what is, how much is that Charizard going to go for? How much is that, well, whatever, all these super high priced items, they're going for thousands and thousands of dollars. But, you know, especially when this cycle, there were so many listings that we picked up almost all of these for super cheap. EX Unseen Forces, Slowbro, 
And they are sets old enough that we may never open up packs from these. So as far as finding, yes, you could maybe pick up graded ones or raw ones on the secondary market and get them graded, but you know, the amount of legwork that would take, and a lot of these are nines. And that was a level X, which is another kind of another series of cards that we even not even begun to get our feet wet in, or until now. Magnezone level 53 from oh, it was a Black Star promo from Diamond and Pearl era. Torterra. <laughs> if you guys uh, follow us on Twitch, you've seen the Torterra GG emote. I think that came out very well from 2010, so pretty recent. Unleashed. Heatran EX, I do like that art. You know, this was kind of like their first step into full arts where now like they're fully swagged out these gold cards, but this is like, they're kind of just exceeding the border. And actually, I think that was pretty good. Pretty well done, I like that art. From Plasma Freeze, we got Flash Fire, Toxic Croak. Again, even though Flash Fire is not that old, I don't mind picking those up. Another Flash Fire, Kangaskhan. I think we have two of this exact card. And our last one is a Gardevoir from Burning Shadows. Uh, I think this was like, I don't know, $7 or something like that. Uh, so I'm a big fan of Gardevoir. And yes, it's a, only from 2017. It's only a near mint to mint eight, but I'm pretty happy with that purchase. And so, yeah, we really expanded our PSA collection uh, from the last PWCC auctions. A little bit of everything, nothing too crazy, but I'm really happy with it. And uh, yeah, if you bought anything recently for your PSA collection or from PWCC, I'm curious how other people approach this wave. And especially with the prices so high, it's like, look, this is what I'm comfortable paying for these cards. And if I get it, I get it. If not, no worries. We'll come, we'll try again later. But uh, yeah, good luck to everyone on the giveaway. And yeah, that's going to be it for me today. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support on the channel. We recently crossed 1,000 subs. We'll do a special giveaway for that and probably a Q&A. Uh, we'll figure out a way to submit questions for that in the near future. Other than that, guys, that's it for me today. I'm Moana Turtle. I'll catch you guys next time.